South Africa 2010 was one of the greatest World Cups in history. The flying Jabalani ball. Lampard to hit it. And Lampard to send it soaring into orbit. Diego Forlan's masterclass. Despite the stumble, he's able to bring it back to Forlan. Oh, magical by Diego Forlan. Suarez. What a finish to the match. We saw the handball. And the controversial but memorable Vuvuzela. For many reasons, South Africa 2010 was one of the greatest World Cups of all time. And it will always be remembered for Spain's first ever World Cup victory. Under the management of Vicente del Bosque, they were dominant. I'm going to be exploring some of their tactics and telling you how you can implement them in FIFA 23. This is how to play like Spain's 2010 World Cup winning side in FIFA 23. Here is our squad. Spain were also famous, as were Barcelona, for their tiki-taka style of football. However, contrary to popular belief, they did not play in a 4-3-3. They actually played in a more conservative 4-2-3-1. I've gone for the 4-2-3-1 with the two cams rather than the left and right mid because, for the most part, Spain's creative players would all like to dominate the center. So we've, we've got more of that with the two cams. Now, as always, we head into our custom tactics and we can see how we can shape this formation. Of course, Spain were a pressing team. However, in tournaments where you have quick games one after the other, it's better to conserve energy. Most teams won't be pressing as high as, say, club football sides might. So we've got our width on 50, pressure on heavy touch, and our depth on 70, just a bit lower than we would if it was a club football side. Build up play, of course, to get that tiki-taka style. We've got slow build up and possession, 70 width, because again, our cams are gonna be nice and narrow. Here we can see our formation. And we've got our goalkeeper, Van der Sar, on sweeper keeper. Our center backs we've left at neutral, as we have with Gaia on the left. In Spain's World Cup squad, uh, an aging Captavia would make less overlapping runs than Sergio Ramos on the right-hand side on join the attack and overlap. Our defensive midfielders, mostly for Spain, this will be Busquets and Xabi Alonso. So where Busquets would be playing, we have Rodri on stay back while attacking and cover center. He's that pivot player. Xabi Alonso or Frankie de Jong, we have as deep lying playmaker because don't forget Alonso, great pass through the ball, great range and, and a bit more energy to push up as well. That's what we've got with Frankie de Jong. Our central attacking midfielder or Xavi as it would usually be we've left completely neutral he's that link between the defensive midfielders and the attacking trio Pedri on the right replacing uh, Andres Iniesta we've got on neutral because he's going to be one of those cams that dives in to the midfield to link with Xavi. Dirk Count on the right hand side. This would often be a role played by either David Villa or Pedro, who's much more likely to hug the touchline. So we've got him on drift wide and get into the box for cross. With our striker, who for us is Robert Lewandowski, we have him on stay forward. So that is how Spain's 2010 World Cup winning side played football. And now just to show you their capabilities, of course, we're gonna get into a division rivals match. Oh my. Oh, what a save. Oh, nice passing from Spain here. Ah, he's off. Oh, he's not off. De Young! Oof! Tiki Taka. Oof. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, beautiful ball. Go. Oh! Oh, beautiful ball up for our striker. It's Robert Lewandowski. Oh. Come on, baby, get in! I win. Oh, it's a beautiful ball. Count! Oof! Okay, half time, and we're at one all. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh! Ah! Oh. Beautiful overlap here. Come on, it's Navas. Ships him! Oh, and it's a lovely ball through. 
Oh, it's a stunning goal! And we're 3-1 up. Beautiful. Here we go. Here's the tiki taka, And then the overlap. Oh, it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. <laughs> Come on! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, and the overlap from Navas, it's just perfect. Oh, it's a good volley, but a good save as well to match. Oh, no. Well, I may have that royally okay guys if you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit like uh, if you want to become a g hit that subscribe button turn notifications on comment down below who you, whose tactics you'd like to see me replicate next and i'll see you next time back up on my feet and now i'm walking the right track ignoring internals red flag and a right back i walk a booking eyes peeled and looking double 60 in the whip it's too late if the white flash the light